Hello, welcome again. I am Mangesh and uh, let's continue with the select statements. In previous example, we have learned what is a group by clause. You can group the records and um, this is what the proper uh, select statement, how to use it and how to use a clause. So here you can use select, then you can use from, from which table you require the data. To filter out, you can use the where clause. Then to group the some records like uh, we have learned in previous video that department ID we have make a group of each and every department and we have seen what is the maximum salary of every department so group by clause you can see there but after group by to filter out some rows then having will come in the picture because after group by you cannot use where clause where clause you can use before group by functions not after group by functions please make a note of it if you try to use it after group by then it will throw you the error so uh, in this video we are going to cover some uh, examples of uh, having clause also and uh, then i will continue with the subquery chapter and i will cover that uh, example in this video as well so i'm logging into my database okay so in my previous video we already seen uh, some examples of group by also then order by which you used to sort the data so let me log in to my database data it's logging okay so it's still loading okay meanwhile i'll show you uh, one more thing uh, in my laptop i already installed the database so through command line also you can access to my database how uh, this is a command line i have enter, uh, open it's a windows option actually and if i want to connect to my database from this command line then we need to use sql plus this is what the command when you are trying to access your database from your linux server also that time also you need to use SQL plus command then it will ask you the username username of your database okay so I will put HR is my username I will use my password here and I can connect to my database again here SQL I have logged in with SQL I can use select star from tab look at my tables I can use select star from departments this is what the exact view through command line also this is a windows command line and when you install the database that time you'll get one more command line from the oracle database this is a sql command line it will directly connect to your database you need to only use your username like this connect hr then your password and select star from tab so this i have shown you because uh, in few companies you'll get a chance to access your database from your linux or unix servers any servers so uh, that time through server level if you're trying to connect to a database then sql plus is a command will come in the picture i'm doing exit again sql plus to connect to a database then use your username then use your password then you can connect to a database through command line okay so let's move to the examples of group by and having uh, this is what my database uh, i'm going to open again department id and obviously salary column max salary from employees order by no group by so it will throw me uh, it will execute all the maximum salary of every department now again this is not in uh, ascending order so i will use here order by department id so it will fresh the record in ascending order now i want the people only from the department id 10 to 50 10 to 50 so in where clause you can say here where department underscore id in you can put all those departments which you required in the output i required multiple one no? that's the reason 40 and 50 so look at the output you have fresh all those fields. and i have used where clause before so that's the reason i got the good output if a same query same output i'll get uh, see 
same query but after group by i cannot use where clause here then it will throw me the error look at this but instead of where if i have used having then it will work see the rule is what before group by you can use where clause okay so i required only those rows whose salary more than 10000 then here you can give that condition in your where clause because uh, again you can only use where clause once or having clause once only in the one sql query so here i'm giving my query select salary greater than 10000 one two three now look at the output see so this is what the proper sequence you can use select then from then where then group by then having and last order by you can also use to the uh, sort the data okay uh, let's jump to the subquery part uh, i'm moving to my uh, ppt in ppt you can see here what is a subquery a subquery is also called as inner query it execute once before the main query main query is also called as outer query and the result of subquery is used by the main query so now we will see what is the subquery exactly so let's jump to the one pdf i have in this laptop okay look at the example given in the uh, screen uh, it's a using the subquery so select last name from employees where salary greater than okay you can use your subquery under your where clause under your and clause okay under your uh, having clause also okay it also one more select statement that you that you are executing under main select statement so this is what your main query which i am highlighting this is your main query and one more query you are executing this one so this is your subquery so what is the use of subquery subquery will give the output to the main query and main query will execute the actual result so now in this query they required only last name column so select last name from employees where salary greater than then in the subquery they have written select salary from employees where last name is equal to Abel. So they require a people whose salary more than Abel, but we don't know what is the exact salary of Abel. So once you execute this entire query, this subquery will give output to the where clause. So here they have highlighted the Abel salary is 11,000 and those whose have salary more than 11,000, those record will get fetched here so better i'm executing these two query i will show you what is the exact salary of abel okay abel salary is 11000 and you required last name from employees where salary is greater than 11000 so these are the people who have salary more than 11,000 because of that semicolon I got the error these are the people whose salary is more than 11,000 but we don't know what is the value of this right now I have it but in the case if we don't know what is the salary of Abel to get that value I will use subquery so look at my query select salary from employees where last underscore name is equal to abel last name yes it's last name so this query will give the output 11000 to main query and main query will execute the exact output the same output you will get the by using this query also see this so this is what your sub query you can use a subquery also or you can execute both queries separately also to get your exact output it's up to you so we will see some more examples given in this pdf uh, they have given some uh, rules about the subqueries we have some types of subqueries single row subqueries and multiple row subqueries under single row you can use those functions like equal to greater than greater than equal to less than less than equal to and not, not equal to these are the options you can use under where clause when you're trying to use that subquery so 
here they have fresh one record select last name job id from employees where job id is equal to select job id from employees where employee id is equal to 141 i have one employee who, whose employee id is a 141 uh, who has same job id like 141 i want those last name and those job id so through that sql query i can easily get this i'm just using the same query on my desktop get the output same output you'll get and you can you'll easily get to know that 141 has this uh, st clerk as a job id okay or you can uh, directly execute like this let me copy paste this separately so this sql query will tell you what is the exact job id of your employee 141 employee so 14 employee has st clerk st clerk will get the output to your main query yeah st underscore c l e r k so let me execute this query and see the output same output i can get it so to get this i have used my sub query under my where clause now let's see some examples of uh, single row queries they have used two uh, queries under this statement select last name job id salary now what is a main query this is what your main query and you required last name column you required job id column you required salary column from employees where job id is equal to select job id from employees where employee ID is equal to 141 and salary greater than select salary from employees where employee id is equal to 143 now the job id of 141 has to match then salary of 143 has to match here so here you required this output and uh, here you required st clerk as output to get this value you are using these sub queries guys look at this so you can you can execute your one more select statement under your where clause or under your and clause also and sometimes you can use the having clause also in that also you can use sub query so as per your output you need to create your own sql query you need to write it accordingly okay uh, let's jump to the next example uh, it's very important example because in the interview you can uh, face such kind of uh, questions like i want to know what is the maximum salary of my company so sql query is very correct select max salary from employees so this is what maximum salary of your company but who have that maximum salary in my company who is the employee uh, getting 24000 salary when i will try to use here last name obviously i'll get the error because this is not a right way to execute this statement okay. so i wanted to know who has this salary so this i will use under my where clause so my i will use this is as a sub query and my main query like select last name salary from employees where where salary is equal to and in that i can use my under uh, bracket i will use my sub query like this select max salary from employees now look at the result there's a person king who has 24000 salary and that is a max salary of my company so in this way you can get that output here they have given the example to get the minimum salary i have just used it as a maximum one okay uh, we have one more example here under having clause also you can use uh, sub query so this is what the example select department id minimum salary from employees group by department id under having clause mean salary greater than select mean salary from employees where department id is equal to 50 so you can use your uh, sub query under having clause also and that example shown on the screen also you can try the same example on your database you'll get the output okay uh, i'm directly jumping to my uh, next multiple row sub queries where we can use these operators in any and all uh, under that i need to execute my sub query and they have some given some examples in the next page so i'm reading this example uh, select employee ID, last name, job ID, salary from employees where salary 
is less than any they have used one keyword called as any less than any now there is a rule for less than any uh, there is subquery is like this select salary from employees where job id is equal to it proc the required of people uh, they require a salary of people uh, whose designation is it proc now in my company i have multiple it programmers and their salary is like this if you execute this one you will get multiple output 9000 6000 4200 but under less than either you can take 9000 or 6000 or 4200 because you cannot put all three values under less than less than 9000 less than 6000 less than 4200 which one it will take so rule of less than any is you can underline this line see less than any means less than the maximum if you are using greater than any it means more than minimum equal to any means it's equivalent to in but in your SQL query you have used this less than any means less than maximum value in my subquery my maximum value is 9000 9000 okay and those people who have salary less than 9000 it will get fresh in the output yes it will fetch in the output let me execute this query on my db look at this i'm not able to copy it yeah. this is they don't want uh, see and operator they have used because they don't require these people okay but sub query let me show you how many uh, people i have under IT programmer here I am executing one more statement so it will tell you yes we have multiple people working under IT programmer and uh, their salary is 9000 6000 4800 but in my query they have taken 9000 value why because less than any means less than maximum so automatically they will take 9000 as a value over here because of that rule okay so opposite to this if you are using all operator so if you are using less than all then less than all means less than the minimum here you need to underline this definition less than all means less than the minimum value so if i will use all operator here then it will take minimum value which is 4200 and uh, let me execute this one i'll get this data whose salary is less than 4200 in the output so only that is a, a major difference between less than any and less than all and uh, apart from that you can use uh, yeah uh, in operator also in means you can match multiple patterns so only these three operators you can uh, you learn under multiple conditions of subquery multiple rows subqueries in any and all so in our next video we will uh, start uh, learning something about the joins and that time uh, i'm preparing that video under one excel sheet so that we would be good for you so for now we are stopping here and in my next video i will uh, start covering entire joins so see you again in that video thank you thanks for watching this video